Hello, and welcome back to an, our second edition of Dragon Spotlight, where we interview a member of the Drexel women's basketball team. I'm Trey Lewis, and I'm here with Carter Kaplan, a uh, member of the women's basketball team and a, the co-founder of You Matter. So, hello. Hi, I'm Carter Kaplan, co-founder of You Matter, a nonprofit organization uh, raising awareness for teen suicide and depression. I am a sophomore here at Drexel and the one of the managers of the women's basketball team. So would you like to tell me a little bit about You Matter itself? Sure. So You Matter is a nonprofit organization that I am a co-founder of that really started when one of my good friends, Evan Rosenstock, ended his life back in 2013 that really hit the, our entire community really strong. No one really knew that my friend was suffering so bad. And my way of grieving with the loss of my friend was to create an organization to try to not lose another friend, which is a very big part of You Matter. How big would you say the organization is now? We're, we're growing huge. We're nationally recognized. One of our, our uh, celebrity spokesperson was the number nine overall draft pick in the 2003 NBA draft, Michael Sweetney. We, we reach people all across the nation and we're, we're just looking real big things. Uh, we are a co-found. Uh, we are a co-founder of Michelle Obama's campaign, Change Direction: The Five Signs of Mental Health, which is a national initiative to try to teach people the five signs of mental health. Which basically means if you see someone with either uh, personality change, agitation, withdrawn, poor self-care, or hopelessness, to try to be able to detect and depict that someone's going through mental distress. So our goal as part of You Matter is to try to teach people those five signs, to take the pledge about the five signs, and be able to learn and try to help out other people. Is there a specific age range that you look for? So our organization, we say we're for kids by kids, which means we are 100% run by kids. And we say kids in terms of middle school age to the college age because we don't want to limit anybody. We have a lot of people now, including Sarah Cohen and Bradley Ferguson, really working very hard uh, while they're still in high school to keep getting You Matter big at their uh, respective high schools. But we, we really aim for between middle school and the college age students. Uh, would you say you had a mission statement that you'd like to share? Pretty much our mission statement is we're a group of young adults trying to change the way people perceive mental health. Can you kind of share your plan on how you'd like to reach, uh, you mentioned going out to different campuses, how you uh, plan to reach uh, Drexel? So one of my big things that I'm really trying to do and, and trying to manage my school work and also being manager of the women's basketball team is actually bringing You Matter here as a club um, on campus. Our first official club at a college was at uh, Michigan and that that's done so much for that community that it's helped out so far but that's the one big thing that I'm really trying to bring and also just making people aware that whatever they do their life matters sometimes they may not think that they matter they may not they may do stuff and and feel down about it but they still matter and every life matters every person matters um, another big thing we will, I'm trying to do is is push people to take the pledge to to learn and teach the five sides of mental health. Can you tell us how many pledges uh, that you have thus far and how many you hope to achieve? So right now, our goal within the next five years is 250,000 pledges within the next five years. And we've already reached over 50,000 a year. So we, we feel like we're definitely gonna be able to get those 250,000 within the next five years. And then also, uh, you are a basketball manager for yes. the women's basketball team. How would you say that the skills you learned there tie into running a nonprofit uh, and vice versa? So definitely being in like a managerial position, trying to do whatever I can and, and really work on my own to how to help my organization out, but also help the Drexel basketball team whenever they need stuff to get done. I'm always willing to, to help out, put a foot out there for whatever task needs to get done. I feel like that's the biggest way, just, just be proactive with things. You co-founded this organization at 16, and three years later, now 19, um, how have you been able to run this at such a young age? So, it's not just me. There's, there's many people uh, at various universities, Andrew Kashmir, Justin Kay, Eric Roberts, that are also in college, help running this this great organization, but it's also a bunch of the high schoolers, because we target them as well, and. The idea that every life matters to be able to 
bring it out to various people because we see a lot of high schoolers struggle. It's it's hard being a high schooler with exams, what colleges you're trying to look for. That don't, that's our main target, but also the college students and the, and the middle schoolers to some extent. Uh, and then I understand that as a pledger, uh, you are considered to be involved in the organization. But how many people would you say are um, working to working for the organization alone, not just a pledger, but trying to get out, and get pledges, and and trying to work for a, a better tomorrow? That's a very good question. I would say hundreds that are just just doing whatever. We 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 don't deny anybody because that's not what we like but if you if you're wearing our shirt or our sweatshirt or or our sunglasses or wearing our lanyard you're you're a part of it because you're trying to show that every life matters because it does so it's it's that and then we, we we have our like our core group that that we sit down for meetings and we start planning our next events and our fundraisers and all that but it's whoever wants to come we're, we're never a closed door speaking of the uh, you know women's basketball team and you, as you're a manager on the women's basketball team are you trying to integrate you matter and yes. the basketball team i am we are we're currently involved with uh, georgetown uh, george washington excuse me university but one thing that i'm trying to do is have every girl on the basketball team and all the coaches take the pledge to learn the five sides and if it's just learning them but also teaching them which is also great and, and being able to like start picking up on it because like for me personally, when I took the pledge, it started to become easier to see that, wow, this person may not be acting like him or herself, but it, it just starts like flowing in your head. Yeah. And then uh, going back to the basketball team, um, as a manager, how do you think the, the girls are looking this year? They're, they're looking really well with that big win against Syracuse. That was, that was awesome. We got work to do. We being able to hopefully come out on top of the CAAs and, and see how well we can do. That's great. Uh, and if you'd like to learn more about it, you, um, you can click the link right here, uh, umatter.org. That's U-M-T-T-R dot org right here. Uh, and that would do it for us. Thank you so much for signing in to our second edition of uh, Dragon Spotlight. Uh, for Dragon Spotlight, I'm Trey Lewis sitting here with Carter Kaplan. Thank you. <laughs>